Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Today, we are in Walmart's parking lot. <laughs> we're always in Walmart's parking lot, obviously. That's true. <laughs> but we have to go get some groceries, and we're also going to pick up some stuff because we're going to make some caramel apples tonight. Yeah. We're going to make, uh, like, some Disney-themed, so... Yeah. Don't know how that's going to turn out. Like the ones they make in the bakery. Yeah, you guys saw how well our Rice Krispies turned out. So eh, they were so-so. So we'll see. They were delicious, though. Yeah, they were. So I'm excited to eat them. I don't know how I feel about making them, but I guess we'll find out. We're going to find out real quick how good, <laughs> how good at caramel apple makers we are. I think we'll be decent. Five out of ten. <laughs> Have Sounds <me>. good. <laughs> so here we go. Got to get some grocery and pharmacy. Pick a good one. This one seems pretty good. Alright. Mike, that last one you had had that terrible wheel. It had a crazy wheel. Always gotta wipe it. Safety first. Please be a sweetie and wipe the seedy. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. Alright. First thing on the list. Hey. Apples. Right there. <laughs> Easy enough. Gotta find some good ones. Yeah, we need like some bigger ones so that we can put the decorations on them. Yeah. I feel like if it's too small, it's not gonna work. Look at this one. But it's not good on this side. That's a big apple. Yeah, but it's not good. This one's okay. Take a bite. It only needs one. It instantly passes out. <laughs> About that lady that just screamed her head off at Walmart. I don't know what she said though. I thought she said like, I forgot the dog food. Me? <laughs> Forget something at Walmart. Comes back in screaming. We got four good sized apples. We got four Snow White worthy apples. Snow White. On the bottom it has a recipe for pumpkin pie. You can make one pie. Are those pie. pumpkin pie pumpkins? Yeah, you can make one pie with one pumpkin. A pie a pumpkin? Yeah. You pick a pie and make a pumpkin. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you ever thought about why the handle on the car moves? Why does it move? I think it's to go. <laughs> All right, first thing on the list is this little black icing bag. I think we're gonna have to go back to that like center aisle because I don't see like candy melts or anything in this aisle. But I think they were on that little center thing. You know? Okay, then back to the center thing. Yeah. For yeah. the caramel. And then we yeah. don't have any food coloring, so yeah. we definitely need that. Yeah, and didn't you need um, not evaporated milk, but sweetened condensed sweet milk? Sweetened condensed, yeah. It's not on the list. Yes, it is. It's right there. 14 ounce can. Oh. See? 14 ounce can. Right. Yeah, 14 <laughs> okay. ounce sweet corn fine, milk. Fine, fine. Let's just do the Walmart brand. And the milk chocolate, too? Yeah, we'll need probably two of those. Okay. Have you ever and dipped M &M's other strawberries in white chocolate? I've had like chocolate dip with a white chocolate drizzle but not just like straight i've never had white, white, white chocolate. chocolate either i'm not a big fan of white chocolate i'm not either it's because it's not chocolate true it's, it's like, like oils almond. yeah almond. <laughs> but it's like almond <laughs> type of flavor you know yeah. what i mean it's still good marshmallows i feel like we haven't even had to leave this little tiny area i know. found everything that we need everything you need is on this center they thing. just know what we need <laughs> it says it's baking season ah, everyone bakes right now you it's know what I mean? bacon season well, like once it turns to fall, everyone's just baking all the time. So you could say it's pork season? No. <laughs> no, I couldn't. We need some parchment. It's, it's turkey season. Recipe said parchment paper, not wax paper. So you have to make sure it's parchment. This is parchment. Three Perfect. Dollars. All right, we just left, well, we we're about to leave Walmart. We just walked yeah, out of Walmart. We're in the parking lot. Again. In the parking lot. I'm not driving while I'm videoing this. That's dangerous. Don't do it, kids. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna head home and make some apples, and we're gonna try our best. So we'll see you then. Oh my Welcome last. to our humble abode. Welcome to my crib. We made it back home yep. and I got into some comfy clothes because it might take us a while. So I decided it, yeah. to put on some PJs. <laughs> I think it will take a while. Yeah, but that's all right. It's mm -hmm. going to be fun. We're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're supposed to do with our apples is actually remove the wax. So we're going to boil some water and you just want to dip it. They said about a minute. 
and then if you boil the water, put the apples in, leave it in for about a minute, take them out and scrub them off, it should get rid of all the wax because they put wax on them to make them shinier at the store so that people yeah. want to eat them. They look more appealing. I don't think it does. And you can taste it. I feel like you can taste it. But you anyway. can. But we're going to get it off so that way the caramel sticks a little bit better. Yeah. So that's step one. All right. We're ready to put the apples into the water. <laughs> all right. It's not quite boiling, but there's getting some bubbles. So I'm just going to set them in there. Bobbin for Bob apples. Bobbin for apples. Don't bob in there. That's going to no. burn your face off. But yeah, and then it just says about a minute is what the recipe says. I'm also going to link that to the description down below with the recipe that we're using. It's just one that I found on Pinterest. So it says six perfect or six tips for perfect caramel apples. So I think it should be okay. Seems good to me. Seems like it should be perfect. Yeah. So we're just going to let those sit there for about a minute and then we'll pull them out. Okay, we're getting ready to start making the caramel now. Alright, so I'm just going to turn on the front burner. <laughs> yeah, don't don't turn on the back. Wherever it is. And then, it doesn't tell me how... It just says medium-low heat, so we're going to go with that. And you need, starting off with a quarter cup of brown sugar. And you always want to make sure you pack your brown sugar or it's not a full quarter cup. Oh, it's actually a half cup. Yeah. You just need the quarter because the thing is too small to fit it half in. Yeah, they're too, too skinny. Too little, but they're they're fun, and they're organized. So that's nice. All right, so I got the brown sugar in, and I got to do the same thing: half cup of regular white sugar. All right. So um, you're just... So just starting with the sugars. I'm gonna spin my apples around a little bit. I'm still getting the wax off. And then I need to do. Half of a can of sweetened condensed milk. And if you've never had sweetened condensed milk, you could eat that by just a can full. It's so good. We need a half a stick of butter. And we also need corn syrup. I don't remember how much. Here's what it looks like before it's all mixed together. A big blob. Put mm. a big blob of butter in there. Yeah, it looks kind of light. We might need to maybe add a little bit. Might have added too much of that sweet condensed milk. Yeah, we might need to add more. Is it brown sugar brown that sugar. makes it? Yeah, it does look pretty light for We'll caramel. see though. Yeah. And then with these little guys over here, they're still just kind of chilling out. They were pretty hot and I think they still are, but we're going to put the sticks in them now. That way it's easier to put the sticks in them and then we'll let those cool. You're not supposed to dip them until they're like room temperature. So we'll do that um, when they're cooled off. Say hi, Layla. Hello. Hi. Say hi. She says hi, Layla. Can you sit? Sit. Good. Okay. Can you shake? No, sit. <laughs> sit. Shake. Good. <laughs> Can you give me a high five? Good girl. All right, putting in the last stick. The last one. Some of them went in easy, some of them went in hard. That one was kind of in the middle. It looks like it's about 210 degrees right now, and it's starting to get darker if you want to come in and look at it. Mm -hmm. Starting to get a little darker caramely color. So I think, I don't know, maybe another minute or so, and we'll probably have 220. Okay. And then we gotta let it cool, and then we'll dip the apples. Sounds good. I like it. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> the bottom I don't know how you're gonna do this just roll it I guess yeah I think you just roll it around and then maybe like drizzle it on top with your little spatula but then you're not I don't know hopefully we'll get like a nice smooth yeah coat after it like drips off it's probably better if you have like a deeper level of caramel but yeah we just didn't need that much hey, it looks pretty good to me yeah, it looks great. We'll just set it back on the parchment. Let it rest. Ooh, look how gooey that is. It's already starting to like goo out. Oh yeah, that looks really good though. It's I like nice so. and shiny and even. Yeah, looks good. Let's yeah. keep dipping them. Good work. All the apples are now dipped in the first layer of caramel. I was just filling in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> filling in a little hole. So. Now they've kind of like dripped down a little bit. They look good. Mm -hmm. They look really good. I just want to eat one. I know, they look real good. But we got to put it in the fridge 
and we'll let them cool off. And while we're doing that, we'll start tempering the chocolate, I think. Yeah. Well, might have to give them a few minutes, then we'll do it. Here's our lovely fridge with our little apples in there. And we're gonna pull them out. They're, they look delicious. Can we just eat these? Uh, we could, but they're gonna be even better to put chocolate on them. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we'll make them Mickey's. <laughs> All right, we got them started on their double boilers. And if yep. you remember our Rice Krispie video, this is the same method. You just put the little chocolate melts in a pot of boiling water and let it melt. Okay, so we need to do some marshmallows. And this one is actually going to be for the little alien. Yeah. Hence why I'm wearing my shirt and my <laughs> PJ pants. Pizza Planet. Or Pizza Planet. Yeah, we're gonna do little ears. So, and we'll insert a picture here of what that one's gonna look like. But we need to cut like little pieces off for his ears. Yeah, it looks great. It's it got looks, a little divot in it. It looks really good. So we're gonna put that on for his ears. And then the other ones, we'll also post here. We're gonna do a ghost, and we're going to do the just like the regular classic Mickey. Classic Mickey. And they'll just need these marshmallows right here for their ears. So now we got the little alien ears. So we're gonna cheat, we're gonna use toothpaste. <laughs> so I'm just gonna maybe push it in like right here. Just get it in there as far as I can get it, I think. There we go. So I put this little guy in the freezer. And then I also snipped off the bottom ring of caramel. That was kind of just around his little edge. That way he's got more of a base on the bottom because he doesn't really need that big, huge chunk of caramel that's like that far off. Yeah. And now we're gonna dip him into chocolate. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm just kind of worried that the caramel's gonna melt off. So we're gonna do it pretty quick. I just wanna get him in, get him out, and get him done. Get her done. Ooh, it's super thick. Let's go ahead and grab some of this special looking thing. Do you need to heat it up more? No, it's like really melty. I just... I just wonder if it's like the caramel. Maybe. Making it feel thicker. Making it feel really thick. Well, plus the caramel's kind of cooled because it was in the freezer, so maybe it's just setting really quickly. Yeah. So, we'll go ahead and get him all done and put him back in the freezer. Maybe needs a little more body work touch up. Maybe underneath there, you can see a little bit of white on the marshmallow. But we'll touch them up. We'll make them look nice and nice and dazzled. These are supposed to be fall and Halloween pumpkins or Mickey's, right? Uh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> That's he's gonna be a little spooky. Yeah. All right, let's get him in the freezer. He, you can see his caramel starting to melt yeah. with the chocolate. So we're gonna pop him in there really quick. Get him nice and cold. Here's our ghost. A ghost toast. We're gonna try... What the... Oh no, it's been melting forever. And it's still boiling. And it's not coming off. What in the world? What in the world? Okay, well... I guess you're just gonna have to... Paint it on. <laughs> paint it on. We need like one of those little like... Brush. Brushes that you like do with meat. A basting brush? Yeah. Disney, tell us your secret. I think you're right. I think they have to have like a fountain to just like hurry and dip they it have in. To. All right, is it all covered in white? Kind of. <laughs> Still good. Hey, tenth number one. It's good enough, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna put him in the fridge or the freezer actually. Let's look at this guy. I mean, he's he's a little bumpy, right. but. Looks like a lot of chocolate dip, dripped down. Yeah, which and is he actually looks a lot. He's thicker. Smoother. Yeah, it's got like a thicker coating. I feel like. Huh. Maybe that's what makes it look smoother. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we can like <laughs> try to get it to move down. Get it to drip. Is that green anything? No. <laughs> All right. He looks like he's a candle. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's spooky. Hey, spooker. <laughs> Spooky candle. Mr. Spook. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna turn this white chocolate green to make the little Toy Story alien. 
put on top so. of this little guy right there. Yeah, his little like antenna. Um, so we just got some food coloring. SOS, I can't open this. Oh no. Here. <laughs> I was gonna try to bite it. So we just have like green and yellow. I'm gonna try the green first and see how the coloring looks. It might need to add a little yellow to make it that like lime green color. I got it. <laughs> but <laughs> good job, thank you. With one hand. Okay, let's see. I don't know how much to put. Uh, not too, too much because he's like a lighter green. I think you might need more green still. Okay, just a little drop more. I'll just keep adding one drop until we get it right. I think that's going to be the trick. I think right so there. too. This color on the picture is like way green, like bright neon type of green almost. Yeah, and he's also very glossy, and I don't think we're going to have a very glossy no. little guy, but, but we're I gonna think try. he's still going to look good. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks really good. You think? That guy's going to go great with my pizza planet. It might still need a little more green, but I really don't want to chance it. I think we should just probably leave Let's it. Let's call it that. I think yeah. that's good. Like I said, drop a comment down below. And if you don't think it's alien green, tell us what kind of kind of green that is. <laughs> yeah. To me, to us, that's alien green. It looks pretty alieny. It's alieny. Good enough. And it's gonna go on this little guy. I promise. He doesn't look like much now, but he'll be an alien. You know when we're done with him. <laughs> By midnight tonight. <laughs> Ready to do his pants. All right, I'm gonna take it off of that area because we're gonna dip him and then hopefully get his little sprinkles for his pants on. I need to do probably about half of the apple. We're just doing nice another layer of chocolate. Layer of chocolate. I'm just gonna roll it in there this time. See how that does. Here we go, guys. Oh. Clump up a little bit. Let me rotate it on this side. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> it's got a nice little layer. Yeah, he's all right. Put Give some him. little yellow buttons. Little yellow buttons. One, two. I got two little yellow M and M's. We're gonna use the finger. Do a little dollop of Daisy. Do it all up a daisy. I love him. <laughs> ten out of ten. He looks great. Okay, I'm doing this a little all bit. Alright, time for the alien. Let's get a close up of this one. First time dipping. I'm scared. You're brushing it on? I don't know <laughs> what to try. do. I don't know what to do. That's all right. That's it. You little alien, you will be dipped. I say that's a 12 out of 10. Whoa. You know what they say? Then what are the Disney ones, like a 30? 22 out of 20. Oh, it's pretty good. All right, let's put him on his plate. And we'll put him in the freezer and let him cool off. We're getting ready to make the ghost. Here's for reference. That's what he's supposed to look like. We'll see how it turns out. I think it'll look great. I need to like tip it. Yeah, let's I'm gonna try and get in okay, let's see. close here for you. Of the magic shot. We gotta fill in these eyes. And then he's got like an oval nose. It's like Mickey's nose. Yeah. I like the goofy nose that I drew today. Yeah. Now he's got this big smile with like... Are those like dimples at the end? I think so. Just like a little grin. Okay. This is like open though. I need to try to make it look like that without touching the nose. That's my rendition. 
Hey, I say he looks pretty good. Okay, we're ready to do his little pants now. We have to do another layer of chocolate so that we can dip him in the sprinkles to make his little space pants. We're just gonna paint him on with the chocolate. Yeah, we tried the rolling with the Mickey and it didn't turn out as well as we would yeah, hope. So not so we're great. just doing a little paint job on him. Yeah, and then just kind of like put him in there. I'm scared, I need to switch hands. And like pat it down. Like while you're rolling it around. Yawned. The clown. I think he's beautiful. He is beautiful. Maybe a little more than that. Cause that just like instantly hardened. Mm. Oh no, he's bumpy. Look at his little eye. Get off of there. Okay, now for the finishing touch. Gotta have his ooh face. Ooh. Does he look like he's saying it? His little, the little thing dripped. Ta da! Let me try to get that up there. <laughs> All done. His little eyes are so small. 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10. I love him. He's perfect. He's very cute. These are my masterpieces. These are our masterpieces. Hey, I think they're beautiful. Finishing product, Mickey Ghost, Classic Mickey, Toy Story Alien. I think they are excellent. And we put our heart and soul in these for the last two and a half <laughs> and hours. And two and a half hours of our lives. So. <laughs> into these caramel apples. Hopefully so. you guys appreciate this little guy and little Mickey right there and this little ghost right there. Whoa, way over there. And then in the back, we just have a regular caramel yeah. apple. And I think we're gonna cut him up just so you guys can see at least how a good taste test. the caramel apple recipe is. So let's go yeah. ahead and cut it up and try it out. Yeah. For all those that don't know how, you're gonna cut it like this. Ooh. I learned this method at the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. No, never worked there. Just been there a lot. All right. Gonna cut it up that way. Cut it down this way. And lastly, cut it that way. Oh, got a little bit of seeds. That's all right. We'll have apples growing on our tummies. To make more caramel apples. Real sticky. Oh, good catch. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, we're ready for our Hand official it. taste test. You can go first. Oh, let me see. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say anything about how it tastes. My mouth is full. The caramel is very sticky, so it doesn't come apart very easy. Mm. It's very good. The apple is just very sour. That's why I made that face. It's not gross. It tastes good. It's just really sour. That's probably one of the best caramel apples I've ever had. Really? It's really good caramel. Dink it. Dink it. Sink it. Mmm, that's fine. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, or Zoe said she's gonna eat the poor little alien. Subscribe or he goes. Oh no! <laughs>